Ooh, this formula though. Obsessed. Hey gorgeous, what is up? Welcome to my channel. My name is Holly, no sign behind me every single time. My name is Holly Lenora and today's video, we are doing a fall foundation routine. Now, now listen up, okay. So when I say fall foundation routine, I mean we are doing our base and we're gonna sculpt a little bit. And let me tell you why, listen up, listen up. Summertime has passed, okay? Those bikinis and bathing suits are now in the backs of closets and in clear totes underneath the bed, okay? Bathing suits are out. The weather is getting cooler. We're wearing more clothes. The seasons are a changing, the temps are a dropping. And listen, we've got pumpkin spice lattes that I've probably already drinking like eight of them already. Not, you know, just today, but since they came out and they were released early this year we've got cheesecakes coming you know not everyone is drinking just ice water now mom <laughs> just kidding but my point is we are going through a lot we've got you know cinnamon rolls it's all warm and cozy in our homes and somebody's baking a freaking pumpkin pie like what are we to do Listen, I'm, I'm just saying what everyone else is thinking, but do not fear. Holly is here and we're gonna learn to sculpt our little faces so we can enjoy as much pumpkin pie as we want, all right? So really, the basis of this video is learning to A, create and keep a beautiful skin-like long-lasting base and B, we're, we're gonna, you know, during this season our faces tend to... It happens, but we're gonna learn how to sculpt it. So, if you're new and I didn't just scare you away with my very dramatic yet true introduction, I probably ruined, but it's okay, we're gonna keep it. I would love it if you would subscribe and join my beauty YouTube family. All things happy, all things positive, and let's hop right into this video. Okay, so my base is completely off. This is just my skin. It has been washed. Um, I do have eye product on, and I even have a little bit of lipstick on, but the first thing that I wanna do to ensure a good, solid, skin-like, beautiful base is I want to put on a primer, and this primer that I use is a beautiful, perfect daily primer. It is inexpensive. It's from NYX, and it's their Bear With Me sunscreen and moisturizing primer, and I'm telling you, with these cooler months, you're definitely gonna want some extra moisturization, extra hydration, Go going on in your skin because dry flaky skin and foundation just do not mix well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put on this primer and I'm gonna mix it with this moisturizer. This is from Freck. I will link it down below as well as all the other products that I'm gonna use in this video. But this is so rich. It is instant hydration. I stand behind this product all day long and no, this is not sponsored. So I'm gonna take both of these See how thick this product is? It is so beautiful and moisturizing. And I'm just gonna put both of them on. That way I'm getting all the benefits of a primer and sunscreen as well as getting that extra hydration, which doesn't seem like a big deal, but if you're out and about or you're just at work and you need your product to stay, this is one of those pro secrets that nobody tells you to do during the cooler months. And I'm just gonna go and press that in, my beauty blender. So that's definitely something you wanna do. Primer, of course, I'm always gonna recommend a primer with SPF in it, but during the cooler months, add some extra moisture to your skin. You will thank me, and your skin will also thank me as well. And just to disclaim, I also, Stand by this routine, but I also have a very solid skincare routine as well. So there's 
there's things to do behind just adding a moisturizer in your skincare routine. I will link my fall skincare above somewhere. Okay. Next, we're gonna go in with actual foundation. I am not gonna color correct or anything. I don't feel super tired. I think my skin looks pretty good. So I'm gonna go in with my secret weapon of a foundation. This is from RCMA Makeup. It is such, such a beautiful, beautiful product. They are a little expensive. I mean, it's high-end pricing, but it is so worth it. Their products are made for actual makeup artists that are freelance, I say actual, but like people that go out and have clients and everything, their products are made for them. Hence why their product packaging is always tubes that you can push out onto the back of your hand or onto a palette as opposed to a doe foot applicator or something like that just for hygiene reasons. But this product is so lightweight, so skin-like, it is so beautiful i love it mine is in the shade p310 and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add it to this morphe beauty blender that was about one and a half pumps the product looks like this and what i'm gonna do is i'm going to start on the inside of my face Make sure to hit my ears. And I'm really focusing on getting every square inch of my face covered with this product because clearly, just like it says in its title, this is the foundation. We need this foundation to be solid. We need it to be pressed into our skin, seeing as we're gonna add things on top of it. This is an important step to make sure it's not just brushed on or quickly done. I would take the couple extra seconds, I mean maybe 30 seconds or so, and just do another run on your face, pressing in the product. If you're using a beauty blender, it is also going to pick up any excess that you have on your face. And if we could just note how flat my face looks and i don't mean like flat like literally i mean flat as in one note no depth no dimension it just looks <sighs> so that's why it's so important to add your concealer to add your bronzer be sure to get the crevices of your little sniffer okay now that that is pushed in and I've actually kind of given it two to three minutes to just sit and chill and get used to the air. I can't tell you how many times I have had a foundation oxidize on me in the worst ways, but this one still looks good. It looks very, very skin-like, very fresh looking. Now we're gonna move on to concealer. This has become one of my favorite concealers very quickly. This is from ABH. It is their new Magic Touch Concealer and it is so hydrating and creamy and even it's moisturizing for your under eyes instant hydration i am telling you so with that being said once again cooler months we want and need that hydration especially in this really fragile part of our faces our under eyes you can feel it and tell how just i don't want to use the word weak but it's a very fragile part of the skin and you don't you don't want dry under eyes okay this concealer will really help you. And what I'm gonna do, so I'm just gonna put some right here in the middle because we're not going full glam. Not, not today, at least I don't for my everyday look. If you do though, girl, love it. So I've got two dots here. I've got two smudges here. I'm gonna put a little bit on my nose and not even go all the way up because a little bit of concealer goes a long way. So, and I'm guilty of it too, but putting like a full like that's a lot of concealer. And you know what, your beauty blender ends up with more than half of it, so I'm gonna put a dot here, little on my chin, and then just a little on my forehead. And that was one dunk into the concealer. It's really all you need, especially for everyday looks. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the dot that I placed first the other side of the beauty blender the butt of it and i'm just gonna lightly start tapping and bringing it down and out to the outer parts of my face and you can see how it just lightly 
brightens my face and you can see the shine that it gives that hydration but it's not an oily shine it's a very nice fresh shine look at that look at that beautiful beautiful I love this concealer same thing for this eye and of course it always helps if you look up that way you can stretch out that under eye skin and get in all the crevices and fine lines and nooks and crannies blah, 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 blah. and this smudge right here I take it and I pull it up and what that's gonna do is create a slight shadow and it's gonna raise my face helps with the sculpting mm, mm, mm. and of course with all the rest brightening our face with concealer but you don't need a lot to brighten your face. A little bit goes a long way, I will say that again. But that's another way, aside from contouring and bronzing, that's of course another way to add depth and dimension to your skin. Okay, so now we have primer, moisturizer, foundation, concealer it has set for a couple minutes as well I really think if you have the time it is a pretty smart move to let each layer sit and get used to being out in the air used to its friends that it's playing with the foundation the concealer make sure they mix well together because not all of them do I'm sure you if you're into makeup you probably have learned that um, so everything is looking groovy groovy why Holly why Everything's looking good. Let's mosey right along. I am going to, oh, I forgot my setting powder. Shucks, thought I had it all. I'll be right back. Okay, so I am going in with setting powder and I am, okay, let me just put it on. I'm going in with the Laura Mercier setting powder. This is her translucent. And the only reason I'm doing that is because I do <laughs> have fine lines underneath my eyes. And what I want to do is stop the creasing from the concealer so I don't want to even give my concealer a chance, no time to seep into those fine lines and cause the creasing. So I'm just gonna take a pocket puff. This is uh, from Beauty Blender. I highly recommend these things. You just slide it on your fingers, pick up a little bit of powder, and I'm talking just a hair. And I'm just going to put it right, tight line it right underneath my lashes and go back and forth over it press it into the skin so what that'll do is stop your under eyes from creasing if you don't have that issue you can completely totally skip that step no problemo now let's get down to a little bit of sculpting and contouring i am going to show you my personal favorite products like top two so it's like this one and one other the this is to contour not to bronze to contour the huda beauty tantor it is so skin like and beginner friendly the formula is bomb i cannot get enough of this product this one is in the shade light I did my makeup earlier today that's why this is dirty um but this is huda beauty's sculpt and shade brush this is so easy so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take the product duh and then the fat end of the brush i'm just gonna pick up a little bit of product here pick up some product and i'm gonna find the top of my ear right there where your ear begins and what i'm gonna do is press some product down following that cheekbone we are following that bone, which right below that bone is the hollows of your cheek. So what I'm doing is I'm just placing pigment. I am just placing the product there. It looks crazy, but we're gonna leave it. Now I'm gonna go to the other side and do the exact same thing. I am simply placing product because we picked up a lot of product. See, there was still so much product on my brush. Now we have placed product. What I'm gonna do is buff just push up we are buffing this into the hollows of our cheeks and if you need to make a silly face you go for it 
Can you see the difference? Solid. Solid. The key to contouring and sculpting is finding that hollow in your cheekbones and sticking to it. And it's also finding the right cool shades that match your skin. Go with cool. If you're going with a warm shade, you're just bronzing. Notice we went down, we, I'll take the blame. I went down way too low right here, but don't worry, we're gonna clean it up. We can clean it up, no problem. So just keep moving, keep, keep buffing people. And I've already got that extra boost of confidence. You can see my cheekbones more. You can just see I look way more sculpted, way more just, ooh, that's right. That's right, I said I want another piece of pumpkin pie. Bring it on, bring it on. I got more contour, we're fine. Bring it on, bring the whole pie. And of course you want to sculpt that jawline, which I personally like to place pigment right below the bottom of my ear. And I just use the aftermath of buffing my cheeks out. Place it right there at the bottom. And what you wanna do is go underneath your jaw. Not on your jaw, underneath your jaw. Place pigment there. I'm just gonna pick up a little bit more. Same thing. Underneath your jaw. And this side and this side, you wanna meet at the point of your chin, right under the ear. And don't worry, we're gonna clean this up. Placing pigment. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the smaller side and that's how I'm gonna buff this out. Make sure it's good and buffed. With my forehead, I'm barely gonna pick up any, well, I think I just picked up too much, but I'm gonna pop it there, pop it there. And since I don't want to lengthen or shorten my forehead, I'm just gonna put it on the sides. If you wanna shorten your forehead, you need to go all the way across. If you want to lengthen your forehead, you need to stay right here. You can see, uh, that already makes me look like I have a big forehead just by covering up my hair. I'm just doing a light dusting. Not a dusting, but you know what I mean. Now I'm gonna take this small side, pick up a little bit, and now I'm gonna sharpen my nose. You can totally skip this if you are okay with your nose. Um, I just, I'm just gonna make it a little sharper. I think it is always smart, whichever area of your face that you're doing, it is always a smart move to place the pigment first. And then start buffing and start blending. Okay, now I'm gonna go back in with the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder, which is a beautiful setting powder. If you haven't heard of it, woo, girl, get you some. It is absolutely, it's flawless. It's so beautiful. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick it up on my Beauty Blender Pocket Puff, and I'm gonna start below. There's not a specific place to start when you're doing this. However you want your contour, that's where you're gonna start. So if you can see where you've gone too low, that's the part that you need to cover with this translucent powder. And so you can see, this is exactly where I want my contour. So what the powder's gonna do is definitely sharpen it up. And it's honestly, in my words, it's gonna make your mess up of your contour disappear. Doesn't really, it pretty much just covers it. So you can let this sit for a little while and it will bake your face, or you can just go ahead and brush it right off, which is what I wanna do, except I forgot my uh, brush. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go in with this. It is a pretty dense powder brush. I picked this up from Target. I cannot remember the name of this brand for the life of me, and I am so sorry. But if you know the brand of this brush, please let us know down below. I'm so sorry. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna take this dense powder brush, and I'm gonna go in a circular motion and 
dust off this powder. And just for um, laughs and giggles, I'm gonna take the slim side of the sculpting brush and pick up a little bit more product, just a little bit. And what I'm gonna do is sculpt my lips. So I'm gonna put some on the bottom of my lip. And then I'm also gonna pop some right here on the top. And we're just gonna buff it out. I have to redo my lips, but it's okay. And what this does is it creates a shadow around your lips and thus creating bigger, poutier lips, which is the thing this year. Now what I wanna do is bronze a little bit just for the heck of it. This is a oldie but goodie. This is the NARS Laguna Bronzing Powder. I'm just gonna do a quick dusting. And if you haven't found this stuff, the Dior Backstage Glow Face Palette for a beautiful, subtle glow. Well, not subtle, because I'm gonna go in with the, which one am I picking? Golden bronze, maybe? It's beautiful. So we are now done with the base. I added, of course, a little bit of extra, a little bit of glow. Uh, I just used that as blush because I really didn't want too much blushy, blushy, pinky, pinky. Just a little bit of shimmer and I'm good to go. Uh, so next thing would be to set it down and yeah, we are ready to rock and roll and eat. That's right. Where's my, where's my pumpkin pie? Yeah. Okay, you guys, thank you so, so much for watching and hanging out with me until the end. I hope you found this pretty easy, pretty simple, pretty beginner friendly, and hopefully it can be something that you use for your everyday routine. Um, let me know what you think about this base and sculpt that we have done. I hope it comes in handy for you during these colder months, and I really, really mean that. The struggle is real. The struggle is real. Thanks so much for watching. Again, if you haven't already, I would love it if you would subscribe. And join my beauty YouTube family. All things happy. All things positive. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.